In this video, I'll show how I have integrated OpenAI Assistant API with Power Automate to reply to emails on Outlook. The assistant I created on OpenAI is trained with the data I provided. It replies to the emails how it is trained with the provided documents and instructions. The document you see here is a demo software troubleshooting guide. I can add more documents to the assistant to enrich it with knowledge. First, let's see how it works. I'll send an email to my Outlook email address with the subject invoice numbers are not in sequence. And this is the email body. It says the invoice numbers are not in proper sequence. I'll send this to this email address. This is my Microsoft 365 email address for which I have created this Power Automate flow. Let's send this email. The email has been delivered to the Office 365 email. Within a moment, the Power Automate flow will read the email, send the email subject and email body to the assistant trained with the custom data to get the answer. Then the Power Automate flow will reply to the email. Here we have got the reply. It has a step-by-step -step guide to fix the problem. The solution is here in this document. You see the step-by-step -step guide. I have uploaded this document to this OpenAI assistant so it knows what to reply for the issue. Now let's send another email that is not related to this document. I'll send it to Joy at DigiSkills Lab. I asked who is the president of US. Let's send. We have got the reply. Let's open the email. You see it says, thank you for reaching out. I cannot assist with that information right now, but an agent will get back to you soon. It doesn't work for any queries that is not related with the product or that is not in the documents I provided. This email reply bot can be of great use for customer queries. You need to have all the documentation ready to train the assistant bot. Let's see how to build this Power Automate flow from scratch. You need to visit platform.openai.com. I already have an account with OpenAI. Here you need to add your credit card and OpenAI charges according to the uses. I purchased some credits. You can see the credit balance. Now I'll create the assistant bot. For that, I'll click on the dashboard menu. At the left side, I see the assistants. I'll click on that. I already have an assistant here. This is the assistant who replies to the emails. I will delete this and we'll create a new one for the video. I'll click on the delete button. I'll click on delete. Now I do not have any assistant. I'll create a new one. I'll name the assistant to automated customer support replies. This is the unique identifier of the assistant. We will need this later when we integrate this with Power Automate. The assistant requires instruction to work. I have the instruction ready. I'll paste the instruction here. It says that you will receive an email body and email subject and you can reply using only what you have in the documents. I'll add the documents in a bit. Write professional and precise replies based on the email body and subject. Begin by greeting the sender. It should not reply to anything that is not in the documents. And it has some other fine tuning options. I'll save this. For the model, I'll select GPT-40. This is the high intelligence flagship model. To add the files, I need to enable the file search option here. Now I can add files. I'll click on this. Here I'll select click to upload to upload my files. So these are my two files. One is company information and the other one is technical issues and solutions. I'll click on open and I'll attach these files with this assistant bot. The assistant is ready. Let's try the assistant. I'll click on this playground button to try it. I'll send this prompt. The prompt has an email subject and an email body because this bot will be replying to the emails. All the prompts will have the email subject and the email body. Now let's send this. I'll click on the run button. This is the reply I get from the bot. You can see the output. It says exactly what I have in this document. You see the line break, the BR tags in the email. This will help me to format the email replies. These BR tags will create the line breaks. We'll see that in a moment. It is generating the BR tags because in the instruction, I have asked it to create BR tags when a new line starts. I'll send another prompt. This time I'll send who's the president, email subject and email body who's the president of the US. Thanks, John. Let's see how it replies. You see, it says, I cannot help with that. An agent will get back to you soon. So it doesn't reply to any queries that is not in the documents. You can fine tune the bot with more instructions here. Now let's create the Power Automate flow from scratch. This is my Power Automate dashboard. This is the Power Automate flow that is running. I need to turn this off. Here, I'll click on turn off so it doesn't reply to emails anymore. I'll create a new flow. I'll click on create. 
I'll select automated cloud flow. I'll name this Outlook email replies with OpenAI Assistant. For the trigger, I'll search with email. You see, when a new email arrives for Office 365 Outlook, I'll select this trigger. So whenever a new email arrives, the flow starts doing its job. Now I'll click on this create button. So this is the trigger. Here I need to add the actions. First, I'll create a variable. I'll click on this, add an action and I'll search with variable. Here you see initialize variable. I'll select this. I'll name this variable open AI API because we need the open AI API to make it work. The type is string. I'll name the action name the same name as the variable name. For the value, I need to get the API. So here on the open AI platform, I'll click on dashboard. Here you see API keys. I need to create an API key. I'll click on create new secret key power automate. I'll click create secret key. You cannot view this key again. So when you generate a new key, save it somewhere. Now I'll paste the key here. I'll add one more variable. I'll search with variable here. This time for this variable, I need to get the assistant ID. I'll name it assistant ID. I'll name the action name to assistant ID to string value for the assistant ID. I'll go to the assistants here. This is the assistant we just created. I'll copy the ID and I'll put it here. We have the OpenAI API key and the assistant ID. Now we need to send the email body and the email subject to the assistant to get the email replies. This is the documentation of assistant API. Let me explain this quickly. When you call the assistant using API, you need to create an assistant, create a thread, add a message to the thread, create a run and then retrieve the output. So this is a five step process, but in the Power Automate flow, I'll combine these calls into three steps. Let's start the process. You'll understand it in a bit. First, I'll add an action that is HTTP. So I'll select this HTTP action. Here I need an URL. So where do I get the URL? We do not need to create the assistant because we already have the assistant. We need to create the thread. This is the URL we need to send the request to. I'll copy this. I'll put it here. Method post. We are calling the API to send a message. For the headers, I need to copy these headers. You see headers, content type. I'll put it here. And this is the value. And the next header is authorization. I'll copy this. And it says after BRR, put the OpenAI API key. BRR and I'll get the OpenAI API. We need to put this as a header. Assistant V2. So this is to create a thread and we can send the message in another request, but I'll combine this. I'll create the thread and send the message here. So in the body, I have a JSON, this JSON, you see the message. So the role is user. The content is this, you see the role is user and I need to put the content here for the content here. I'll type email subject and I'll get the email subject from this action here when a new email arrives. So I'll click on this here under when a new email arrives, I'll select the subject. I'll put a comma and I'll paste email body. I'll get the email body from here body. So we are sending the email body and the email subject here. It will get the email body and email subject and send it to the assistant API. Now we need to get the thread ID from this request to get the thread ID. First, I'll save this and I'll click on test. Select manually and test to make it work. I need to send an email. I'll just send any email to trigger the power automate flow. In a moment, you will understand why I need to test this. I have received the email in the inbox. So all the actions are successful and to click on this HTTP request here and the output, you see the body contains a thread ID. We need this thread ID. So I'll copy the whole body here. Now I'll click on the edit button. Here I'll add an action that is parse JSON. Parse JSON. I'll select this use sample payload to generate a schema. Here I'll paste the copied body. I'll click on done. And for the content input, I need to input the body of the HTTP request. So what it will do, it will get the body and will get the ID, the thread ID. I'll name this to thread ID so I can recognize this from the thread ID. I'll use this ID. Now we need to run the thread. We send the message with the email subject and email body. 
Now we need to tell the assistant to execute the message. So I'll add one more HTTP action. I'll click on this HTTP. I'll name this to run and for the URL to create the run I need to use this URL here. I'll copy this here I'll paste it. I need to replace this thread ID with our thread ID. For that I'll click on this action here and you see thread ID. This is the purse JSON action. I'll click on body ID. From the body it will just get the ID. For the method I'll select post and for the headers I need to use these headers. Authorization in the value I need to paste bearer and the OpenAI API key. So this is the OpenAI API key. Next content type application slash json and this is the mandatory header for all the requests now we need to send this assistant id and the instruction i'll copy this i'll put it in the body i need to replace this instruction with our instruction I need to provide the instructions here because when we call the assistant using API, the instructions need to be passed through the call. It will not use the instruction we added while we creating the assistant. I am using the same instruction here. Now I need to test it to get the output from the run. I will save this. I need to test this flow to get the body of the run so I can parse the output in a JSON. So I will just click on test. This time I do not need to send an email. I will click on automatically and I will select with a recent use trigger and I'll use this. It will start from this step. Run not found. Assistant ABC. Oh, I didn't change something. I didn't put the assistant ID here. This is the demo assistant ID. I put the thread ID here, but I forgot to replace this assistant ID. So here, I'll select this assistant ID from the variables. Save this. Test. Automatically, with the recent trigger, I'll start from here test it the flow ran successfully now I'll click on the run in the output you see it has a run ID we need the run ID in the last step I'll copy the body here I'll edit the flow I will add a new action and the same parse JSON we need to get the run ID from the last action here I'll click on this use sample payload to generate schema I'll paste the copied body here click on done and for the content I need to fit the body of this run. I'll click on this and you see the body of the run action. This is not the thread ID so I'll rename this to run ID. So far we have read the email. We created two variables one for the OpenAI API key and one for the assistant ID. We created a thread using an HTTP request. We retrieved the thread ID. We created a run request with the instruction. In this HTTP request we have sent the email body and the email subject. And in this run request, we have sent the instruction. Now, we need to wait a while because I have noticed the assistant requires around 30 to 40 seconds to generate the output. So I'll create a delay action here. Delay. I'll set the delay to 1 minute. It takes around 30 to 40 seconds, but to be on the safe side, I'll make it 1 minute. After the delay, we need to retrieve the output from the assistant. To retrieve the output, we need to use this URL. Here, I'll add one more HTTP action. This is the last HTTP action. HTTP, I'll make it output. This is the URL. And I need to replace this thread ID with my thread ID. So what is our thread ID? This is the thread ID, the body ID of this thread ID purse JSON action. The method this time will use get because we are retrieving the data, we are not sending anything. And we need to use the same headers. I'll quickly copy and paste the headers. After the BRR, I need to add the OpenAI API and the last one is OpenAI Beta. This time we do not need to put anything in the body, we just need to retrieve the message. I will save this, I need to test this because we need to get the output structure so we can reply to the email. I will click on the test automatically and I will use last successful trigger, I will click on test. test was successful I'll click on the output and here I'll get the body 
this is the value we need to get this value i thank you for reaching out unfortunately your message did not contain any specific details or request because it didn't find any email it doesn't matter here we're just testing it i'll copy the body here here in the notepad documents you see this is the reply from the assistant i need to retrieve this reply from this output i'll click on add an action here i'll select reply i'll select this reply to email v3 under office 365 outlook here i need to add the message id i'll click on this and i'll scroll down here you see when a new email arrives i'll click on see more here i'll find the message id this is the message id under advanced parameters i need to select the body now in the email body i need to add this message this value to retrieve the value i'll use this expression i already have the expression ready i'll put it here i'll explain this to you from the body of the output action in the data array i'll find the content in the content i'll find the first text in the text i'll retrieve the value this expression will simply retrieve the value from the body i'll add this now save now i'll click on test i'll click on manually option i'll click on test now i need to send an email to test it for the email subject this time i'll send a different subject for the email body i'll send this i need to send this to joy at tgskills.com the issue is template rendering failure we have this in the document let's see how it works i'll send this we have received the email now we are in the delay action because after running the thread it takes some time to generate the output and in the delay i have set one minute so it will wait for one minute before going to the next action the next action is retrieving the output and then it will send the email reply it says the reply is done let's see in this inbox okay we have received an email hello x to address the template rendering failure issue please follow the steps access the template engine okay let's see access the template engine run the template rebuild all it replied perfectly it replied exactly what it find in this document but you see the technical issues and the solution dot docs this is the name of the document technical issue and the solutions sometimes it replies the name of the documents to fine tune this what you can do when you are sending the message here in this http request you can add some instruction here let me show you http and here i am sending the email subject and email body you see here i'll add some instructions i'll paste the instruction if the information is not available in the document then just reply you cannot help with that an agent will get back to you soon and do not mention the document reference we do not want this to the replies right so i have added this here i'll save this this is not the instruction actually the instruction is here in this run action this is just the message where we are sending the email subject and email body we can add some instructions here now let's try this again i'll click on compose i'll send this to joy this time i'll send invoice numbers are not in the sequence and i'll send this email we do not need to test it we can just click on save because it's already working we have selected the automated flow and when a new email arrives the flow will start i'll send it and i'll wait we have received the reply this time the bullets are different and it didn't mention any document name you can fine tune the instruction to get the perfect email replies this email bot can be great use for customer queries make sure to add all the files here to train the assistant bot please let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you i will reply to your queries thank you for watching please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel